How's it going everybody? It's Chris Bucci here and today is a very exciting day. We have my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. These were the wheels I first bought for the truck. They're 17 by 9 black rhino guides. I can air down comfortably to about 15 psi. Any lower than that I'm a little uncomfortable. Last trip I went on was King of the Hammers. I wish I could have aired down just a little bit more. So I have a solution. I'm now the proud owner of some Method Race wheels. Uh, they're 17 by 9, negative 44 offset. Let's take a look at them. <laughs> I haven't really got a proper look at these yet, so this is exciting. Whoa! Sorry, the camera's probably distorting it a bit. Very solid. Oh, I didn't mean that. First thing I have to do is actually get the truck on jack stands, take all the wheels off, put them in a different car, and take them to America's Tire because I don't have a way of getting the tires off myself. But once I have them off and I have all the tires loose, I can sell my old wheels because I don't really have a use for them. And then I can do the beadlocks myself. It'll be my first time doing beadlocks. And from what everyone's told me, it's that it's a very fun process. So very much looking forward to it. But I'm gonna learn a lot, so that's what's important. Wow, okay, welcome back. And we have Jack. You're not an expert. We have two amateurs, which <laughs> makes one expert. So hopefully we'll be okay. I didn't film it, but I just uh, finagled this wheel inside of here just so I had some practice. So I look okay on camera doing it, but I got the wheel in. I marked which side of the tire is the outside, so we're good on that. All I have to do now is take this bead sealer. I believe the bead sealer goes on the inside channel right here. Not on the threads, obviously. Just on this inside channel. Since I'm not gonna get these traditionally balanced by a tire shop, what we're actually gonna do is use these. Uh, these are automatic tire balancing pouch things. So for my tire, which is a 35 by 12 and a half, uh, by 17, um, it recommends this orange six ounce bag. Uh, it's pretty much just a little bag of beads, and as you drive, it, it'll like, this thing will disintegrate, and it just automatically balances your tires for you. So that way you don't have like metal things on the inside, and especially when you're off-roading, they can fling off and stuff. So this is pretty much a guaranteed way of roughly balancing all your wheels and... Oh! <laughs> Oh, look at that goo. Look at that goo. It's that goo. Oh! Oh! Mm. oh smells, give me more. Smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, why does it look like that? Yo, that's so much help. This is going to be so awesome when it doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that, baby. No leaks. No leaks on the other side either. And the valve stem is good. I did not think we were gonna have no leaks. What do you think? No, we were totally gonna be able to do it. <laughs> well, damn, that worked. <laughs> okay. Those look pretty nice. Well, Jack's gonna leave me alone to die. I mean, do the rest of these, so. Fun! All right. Say bye, Jack. Bye. Do you like my new glasses? They're freaking huge. Look at that. You can't even tell if I'm looking that way or not. <laughs> it has not dropped in any pressure since yesterday, so I think we're gonna move on to wheel number two. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing, I'm gonna get as many done as possible, so time lapse it is.
I go. The spares are gonna go right here. There's gonna be a spare and then a spare. So they're just gonna be stacked on top of each other. My back, as you can imagine, is pretty sore right now. So I don't really wanna lift them in there right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one. Later.